Welcome to Shrewsbury News, brought to you by TheDailyShrewsbury.com. Hi, I'm Lindsay Corcoran from TheDailyShrewsbury.com, and this is your weekly news. Delegates from both the Shrewsbury and Westboro Democratic Town Committees joined together Tuesday night and unanimously voted to approve Kevin Byrne as the de official Democratic candidate for state representative for the 11th Worcester District. Byrne, longtime Shrewsbury Town moderator and local attorney, entered the race for state representative after the previous Democratic candidate, Dennis Leary, dropped out of the race due to health reasons. In order to meet state requirements, 14 delegates from Shrewsbury and four delegates from Westboro, all gender balanced, were elected by the town committees at separate meetings on Monday night. Byrne was nominated by Shrewsbury Democratic Town Committee co-chair Deborah Peoples and seconded by Kate Donahue of the Westboro Town Committee, and nominations were closed when no other candidates were presented. Byrne seeks to fill the seat being vacated by Republican Karen Polito, who opted to run for state treasurer instead of running for re-election. He's running against local business owner Matt Beaton, who was the Republican candidate for the seat. Next. Uh, next one on the group. At their annual Public Works workshop, selectmen reviewed current and upcoming Public Works projects with town officials, including the current work on Grafton Street. While the project on Grafton Street is largely com complete, the town continues to wait upon Verizon to remove wires from the old poles on the road. And the other big issue, obviously, is Verizon. Verizon has been over the past couple of years, working there sporadically, and there are still poles, as you see in the street, poles on the sidewalk, still waiting for them to complete their work. Um, I think at this point in time, it may be necessary to maybe have them come in to your board and ask them what's up. Because we would like to get those poles removed and that pavement done this year. So that, uh, you know, it's clear for the plows and everything else. Ultimately, Selectman voted to send a letter to Verizon about completing this project. We'll be right back with more of the Shrewsbury News after this break. From the foundations of art theory and execution, through the techniques of the masters of the craft, this series will take you on a comprehensive trip through the world of art. New to SETV 29, an interview with Shirley LeMay. Join us as we talk with Coolidge School's third grade teacher, Shirley LeMay, as we discuss her love of butterflies and her amazing trip to Mexico. So look for an interview with Shirley LeMay on SETV 29. Welcome back to the Shrewsbury News. On their road to the state election in November, Republican gubernatorial candidate Charlie Baker and candidate for Lieutenant Governor Richard Tazai stopped in Shrewsbury on Saturday for a town hall style meeting with their voters. Around 120 people attended as Baker and Tasai talked about their plans to change Beacon Hill if elected in November. Local Republican candidate for the 11th Worcester District State Representative seat, Matt Beaton, introduced Baker and Tasai and stressed the need for change in both the highest office in the state and, legis and the legislature. The Shrewsbury Fire and Police Golf Tournament, which was held at Highfields in Grafton on Tuesday, drew over 100 golfers to help raise money for the Shrewsbury Fire and Police Relief Association. For the past five years, the golf tournament has been held annually as an event for local firefighters and police officers, but also for the public at large. Golfers on Tuesday enjoyed not only a day on the green, but also a buffet lunch and a number of raffles, which, which there were prizes donated by some local businesses, some of whom acted as sponsors for the event. To see more photos from the golf tournament, check out the photo gallery on thedailyshoesbury.com. Mary Trost, the owner of four-year-old Roxy the Rottweiler, who attacked two dogs and a person, and was later sentenced to death by the Board of Selectmen, has decided not to appeal the case for a second time. Trost appealed the decision by the Selectmen made at their June 28th meeting to have the dog put down, but lost the appeal last week after the magistrate, who heard the case, sided with the Selectmen. Attorney Jeremy Cohen, representing Trost, said after the hearing that they would be filing another appeal which would bring the case before a judge. According to an email from Cohen last Thursday, 
Trost has decided after several days of deliberation not to file another appeal. Cohen said that Trost carefully considered the toll another round of testimony would take on her neighbors and said it would be a burden to her, the town, the neighborhood, and the court. Roxy has been out of the state since the most recent attack on May 28th when Trost took her on a pre-scheduled trip to Georgia. According to Cohen, Trost will not be bringing Roxy back to town. Shrewsbury News will be right back after this short break. Many good things are easy to spot, even in black and white. A maple leaf, birds in flight, our trees in summer. But there's one bad thing that's also easy to spot because it is black and white. The Asian longhorn beetle. This insect is killing our trees, but with your help, we can defeat it. It's as simple as black and white. Look for the beetle. And if you spot it, report it at beetlebusters.info. Animal Adventure has new episodes now showing on SETV 29. Coming this fall, Animals from Down Under. Animal Adventures can be seen Saturday at 8 a.m., Sunday at 6.30 p.m., and Monday afternoon at 4.30. I'm Lindsay Corcoran, and you're watching the Shrewsbury News. Scarecrows were erected Tuesday night on the Town Common as part of the Spirit of Shrewsbury 6th Annual Scarecrow on the Common Contest, sponsor sponsored by the Shrewsbury Garden Club. Scarecrows, sponsored by a number of local groups, including, including Girl Scouts and residents who just felt like participating, were erected by the, by the participants on Tuesday. The Scarecrows will be judged and the awards will be presented on Friday evening, the first night of the Spirit of Shrewsbury. Scarecrows will remain up long after the Spirit of Shrewsbury is over until October 15th for residents to view and enjoy as part of the fall scenery on the common. There are Spirit of Shrewsbury events planned for the entire weekend, including the Expo at Oak Middle School, 5K in Dean Park, and a food festival at the Hoagland Pincus Center, all taking place on Saturday, and a farmer's market and the parade taking place on Sunday. For a full listing of everything you need to know about the Spirit of Shrewsbury events, visit thedailyshrewsbury.com. I'm Lindsay Corcoran, and this has been your weekly news. To see these stories and much more, visit thedailyshrewsbury.com. <music>